Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Ramadan Health Guide. My name is Amina Taqi and I'm an associate nutritionist. The aim of the show and the aim of this program is for us to be able to provide you with all the information, knowledge and skills that you need to be able to improve your overall health and well-being. And uh, during a time where we're constantly bombarded with information all about food, nutrition and health, sometimes we're left confused over what are the things that we should be doing that will improve our health. And the aim of this uh, show and program is for us to give you that information so you're no longer left confused. So what we're going to be discussing today is the different types of food that keep you full um, and that's very important for when we fast because um, as soon as we break our fast, we have a meal and then we have our um, meal um, at, you know, before dawn, um, at breakfast time, it's her. And it's very important to include foods that keep you full. Because if you um, include those, that means your body will release the energy a bit slower, keeping you fuller for longer periods of time during the hours when you are fasting. So what are the main foods that keep you full? It's any food that has fiber in it. Protein foods keep you full, fats also keep you full, and uh, complex carbohydrates may be able to keep you full as well. So why is fiber? We'll focus on fiber to start off with. Fiber is a, um, a dietary material that we that is present in uh, different foods. There's two different types. There's the insoluble and there's the soluble fiber. And both of those work to um, bulk the food up, especially um, in your um, gut, and they also provide your, your gut with uh, great energy. Uh, it's a great energy source for your gut, and both of those are used to improve your gut health. Now, why they're important is because they, they're what we call the bulking agent. They are the ones that will keep you fuller for longer periods of time. What are some examples of fiber or foods that have high levels of fiber in them? Things like chia seeds, flaxseed, coconut flour, things like almonds, all of those will um, have a, a fiber in there that will have that effect. As for proteins, why they're important or how, well, how they keep you full is because they release certain hormones that keep you fuller for longer periods of time. So they um, increase the, they decrease the hunger hormones, but they also increase the satiety hormones, so the hormones that keep you full. So by having the proteins, you're going to be feeling fuller for longer periods of time. Um, things like fats, because they're quite complex, um, they're quite complex molecules, so they take a little bit longer to break down. And they also give us certain hormones that uh, uh, the fats work with some of the other hormones to tell you when to stop eating. That's why it's important to have um, them in your diet as well. That it will keep you full. So um, some foods that include all fiber, protein, and also uh, fats are things like eggs, um, nuts, avocados. Those will have all of those different um, elements or different nutrients that will keep you full. As for the complex carbohydrates, carbohydrates uh, release energy. So if we go for the ones that release the energy a bit slower, that means we'll be getting energy available for a longer period of time. So that's things like swapping your cereal for porridge. Both of those will give you energy, but the porridge will release that energy a bit slower. So you've got the energy for a longer period of time. Um, things like if you swap your white bread or brown bread for things like um, whole grain bread or seeded bread, that bread the, or that energy that's released, again, will keep you fuller for longer periods of time because that uh, glucose level uh, the glucose levels in your blood has is more of a gradual process rather than all of a sudden it went up and down. So and that's why it's important to try and include some of these foods as part of your uh, iftar or as part of your suhoor to keep you full for long periods of time. That's it for today's topic and I hope you found this information useful to you and I hope that you do uh, include some of those foods because that is what is going to help fuel your body during the long hours of fast. Thank you for joining us and Master Lama.